Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so tonight um, we are going to be making something a little bit special. This is a really, a really, really great dish and it is super simple. Uh, and it fills you right up and it makes you feel as though you've eaten something really amazing and really special. So tonight we are going to do um, curried salmon um, on um, some curry kale. So the ingredients we've got is we've got the extra virgin olive oil as a given really. Uh, we've got our curly cow, some frozen um, boiled pink salmon, which is nice, some shallots, um, some curry powder. Uh, you can use just the regular stuff you bought off the shelf. I made my own the other day just to see if I could, and uh, it actually turns like that. So, um, some coconut milk and some peanuts. Uh, if you've got a peanut allergy, obviously you want to use some other, other nut um, other than that, and the salt and pepper of the spices. Right, so uh, let's get into it. Uh, I'm going to be using my skillet. Um, these are great. Uh, it's the ones with the like, little ridges here. And that's going to give you your nice lines and everything um, on your fish. And then my steamer from your cow. Right then, so let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to crack open the salmon and get that defrosting. Um, it's really, really simple. Um, this stuff I got from Iceland, um, and I don't know if this is the thing about all uh, all salmon, but it comes handily packaged in these little bags here, so you can kind of uh, sous vide them if you want them with the real ones. So let's get some nice bits. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so those. Perfect. Nice and portioned out in between. for you. And now what we're going to do is get our bowl in. And we're just going to fill this up with some, I don't want boiling water because I don't want to cook it. Uh, we just want to defrost it. So I'm going to pop a little bit of water in there. Like so. with a little bit of cold so we don't want to so you can kind of just put your finger in there Ooh, it's still pretty hot there we go and then we're going to get our two bits of salmon because they're like sealed and everything they're not going to get water logs we just chuck them in there and uh we'll just leave those there whilst we start preparing the rest of the stuff Okay, so this is not something I've usually done, uh, but I'm going to give it a good use time. I'm going to wax some shallots in it as well. Um, now, as you guys probably know, shallots are a lot sweeter than your normal onions. Um, I think one should probably do it actually. So, let's crack that open. Get my, uh, get my rubbish pan like I did the other day. Just uh, twist off the excess. In there. Boom. Boom. There we go. And uh, where am I going to do this? Let's just take off that outer layer there. So we don't want any of that nasty uh, silvery stuff on the outside there. Oh, we just dishwash it. Okay. I'm just going to uh, cut this one up good. I think rings would be quite, quite nice, so we're not going to cut it down the middle or anything. And I think this is it's probably going to be more for texture than taste. I don't know if you're going to get much through it, um, through the curry powder. So um, we'll see, we'll see what comes out of it. Okay, so let's just uh, hold on for our salmon a little bit longer here. I mean, once you, you can touch it now and the water's cooled down a bit and you can kind of feel it going off or uh, defrosting, sorry. So that's really close already. Okay, so I reckon we're going to need probably about 100 grams of the, um, the cow. And that should probably see two people through. So let's get that going. Right, so uh, the kettle, get this from anywhere. Um, it's another one of those that you can 
you just jump on roll. It's quite nice. I don't know if you guys know what kale looks like, but it's kind of got quite a deep flavour to it. Super nice. Mm. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting the salmon on top of the cow at the end of the uh, of the cook. So just think about it, that's how it's going to look. Okay, so let's wipe some of this in there and see what we get. So, I mean, obviously when we uh, when we cook this is going to reduce down as well. So we we'll probably even though it looks like quite a lot in here. Probably gonna not get that much at the end, so so that's fifty right there. And I think maybe we'll go with seventy-five. There we go. So that's seventy-five grams there of your cow. There we go. Beautiful. Set that to one side. Fun bit. So, the other skin, this is a, a cast iron skinner. Skinner. Uh, pop that over there. So, we don't want a huge amount of oil in there, it's literally just a little splash. Um, just to stop the uh, just to stop the fish from, from sticking on the bottom. So we want to get a cracking heat on it. Um, because we're almost going to sear the, the salmon, and salmon being quite a um, quite a soft meat, it's going to do really, really fast. Uh, so, and if you overcook it, it just goes a little bit tough. So you need to get it just perfect, just at that right um, that right cookness. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it just kind of falls apart. Okay. So let's see how this salmon is doing. Ah, oh, it's perfect. There we go. So you can see. That's been in there for like, what, five minutes, something like that? And, uh, and we're, we're good to go with it already. So I'm just going to crack this open. Um, when you slice it open, uh, it's, got a, it's got a little bit of liquid in there. So that liquid's going to come out. So uh, I tend to just slice them along the top there and uh, open them over the sink and just let them pop out onto your hand. But now you can see these beautiful little bits of uh, salmon just there. They are going to be awesome. Right, so our, uh, our skillet's nice and warm. Let's just uh, move that around. That will go down a little bit. Okay. And uh, I always find with this that I don't really want to use a fork because the fork's going to break up the uh, going to break up the fish. So if you use a spoon, um, it's, it doesn't it doesn't catch it. It doesn't uh, it doesn't catch. Break it up. We're also going to use a spatula as well, just to kind of get up underneath it, so that we can flip it over. So then, uh, we can see the pat's nice and smoky. Um, extra virgin olive oil and olive oil has got a really, really um, low burn point. Um, if you want a higher burn point, you want to use something like rapeseed oil or something like that. Uh, but for this, we don't need it to be crazy, crazy, crazy hot. Um, and when it starts to smoke, let's just turn turn your heat down a little bit. So then, uh, let's get on with it. Let's just whack them in and, uh, and go with it. One, two. Now we don't want to be draining this pan at all because um, all the yummy flavours and everything, um, the, all the juices that come from it, um, we're going to use all of that. We're going to use it all. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of salt on there, a little bit of pepper on there. There we go. I'm going to throw some lemon into the mix as well because uh, salmon and lemon are very nice together. So it's going to get a good old squeeze over the top of the, the salmon there. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that! Woo! Mmm, I love to do it. You just, you know, you just throw it back in your face like that. It's so good. There we go. We're going to get some dill into the mix in a minute as well, I think. There we go. Look at that. Boom. Look at that. Oh. So this is what we've got so far. Oh. I'm not even starting. It's already smelling amazing. So, uh, let's give this a few minutes. Quick that heat in. Whilst that's doing it, we'll get some dill. 
Here we go, we're just going to throw a bit of that on there. Not a ton. Here we go. Oh, too good. Too good. Just remember, you don't want to go mega mega with them. I mean, you're only probably talking, what, three or four minutes per side? And you'll see the you'll see the salmon starting to go white as it cooks through. You know, you can look at the sides and it's starting to come through all white and everything. Coffee. There we go. I'm used to be very beautifully. Well, not even no effort at all. Crack that heat in there. More salt on that side. Now the, um, the curly cow, I'm leaving that a little bit late because you really don't want to do that very much. Uh, you're probably only talking two or three minutes because it's pretty soft anyway. And if you overdo it, you're going to cook all the goodness out of it and it's just not going to taste great. So you don't want to do that. Right, let's flip this, this over. Let's see what we've got going on. Whoops. Oh, still going a little bit longer on that, but okay. The crunch thing. What? Oh, not that. Okay, I might flip it over again in a minute. A bit more salt. Bon bon. Fish loves salt. Just remember that. It does live in the sea, after all, so. <laughs> Unless they're fresh water salmon. Um, and then maybe they don't. Maybe they don't like it. So. Okay, so what's the what's that scan doing? I start start preparing the the cow. So we're going to steam the cow. Bit of water, not a huge amount. Stick that over there. There we go. Whack the top on it. Bosh. There we go. I'm going to turn it on right now, it's going to sit there steaming. Alright. You'll be able to feel the salmon. It should be a little bit spongy, you know. If it's, if it's gone hard, then you won't done. So you can see here. Just, I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so. So then, now what we're going to do is, this is where the fun really starts. So we're going to move our salmon just up to the top of the griddle here. Yeah, or skillet or whatever, sorry. And we're going to get our coconut milk. This is half a can in there, I used it the other day, the other half. Give it a stir, because it does clump up. When you get a new, you kind of... Uh, kind of solidifies up the top. So. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to whack it in there, we're whack it in the, in the skillet as well, just turn it down a little bit. So we're almost going to poach it now. And this is why I was saying that we want to kind of keep those juices in, yeah? Wow, where's my curry powder gone? In this? Now the curry powder is up to you. Um, how, how much you put in is up to you. I usually start with about a teaspoon, a uh, tablespoon, sorry, and uh, and we kind of work up from that. I will put a recipe up for your own curry powder. It's remarkably easy. <laughs> I was surprised. Right, and so let's get this in, and you can see now that this is going this lovely kind of golden brown. Yeah. And what we're going to do is we're just going to sit here and we're just going to reduce this thing nice and glue thing, yeah? We'll flip over those pieces of salmon so they get a nice coating on them. Bosh! Oh, mate. Oh, honestly. Mmm. The smell coming from this pan is just, mmm. Honestly, it doesn't get bad. We're going to throw in our shallots around the sides here, yeah, there we go, it's going to give us that really scrummy texture, 
Bosh, look at that. Oh, oh man. Look at that. So that's all going to cook up good. Let's keep the, uh, keep the salmon nice and wet. We'll keep on basting that over and basting that over. Mm. Oh, yeah. God. I'm going to whack a little bit of my umami in there, the old MSG. You'll see me using this loads. Um, this goes in so many things. It's so versatile. And it just makes everything just taste so damn good. Um, and xanthan gum. So uh, you guys are probably already familiar with corn flour. Uh, however, corn flour is carb central. There's loads of carbohydrates in it. So, I did a bit of research and xanthan gum um, is much lower in carbs. Um, also, um, as with when you, when you use your corn flour, you have to kind of pre-mix it. You have to put the, 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 the liquor in there, mix your corn flour in and then stick it in. Which is a bit, a bit of a pain in the backside. Xanthan gum, you can just whack it straight in. It's not going to clump up like corn, corn flour does. Uh, and it's going to give you this really thick liquor. Um, so we're going to get this little bit of xanthan in there. Like I said, just a eighth of a teaspoon. It's, it's so pokey to get going. So we'll just kill that around a little bit. Hit it with a touch more lemon just to kind of give it a little bit of whoop, not that much lemon, just to give it a little bit of uh, just a little bit of extra zest. Okay, let's get that mixed in. Now this liquor, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this over everything at the end, yeah, and this is gonna be amazing. Oh. Oh my god, the flavour, the intensity of that curry and the and the coconut just comes through and a, a little, little hit of lemon in there just really pops this dish. Bit of MSG, ha, mate, honestly this is uh, unbelievable. This is just going to be perfect. Ah, in actual fact I think I think we're just going to take it off the heat now, guys. So I think we're, we're there. We're there already. Look at that. Mm, I was kind of going to be gone by the time I get to eat it. That's so good. So let's pop this over here. Like that. The old, uh, the cow one. So. This is not going to take very long at all. Oh, so good. So good. And the next step, so this is something I, uh, I've not done this bit before, so we're going to see how it works out, but... So I'm going to get my, um, going to get my nuts. <laughs> this is not going to be loads, it's literally just going to be, um, just a sprinkling of your old peanuts over the top. Get your masher in, put them a mash up. If you can get one of these, oh, great stuff, mate. That's it. I'm trying to think and explain to you what the uh, the texture is that I'm looking for. Um, I'll just show you in a second. So you can see, you see the texture we've got here. So this is what you want, um, and we're just going to be whoop, sprinkling it over the top. We're not going to be coating it. We're just going to sprinkle it. Just going to be for a little bit of texture. Let's see how well this has come up. Oh, here you can see. Look at this. Okay, look how thick that's become. Let's put that down from in there. Okay. 
I'll go and get some plates. Right guys, so our cow's done, our salmon's done, let's rack it up and make it look amazing. Uh, arguably, like the most important part of the job is making it look absolutely fantastic. Um, be careful as you put it on, you don't want to splash everything everywhere, or maybe you do, and personally I like to keep it a bit clean. So, whew, that's still fresh and hot in there, Just be a bit careful of that. So this cow has gone, it's amazing green. Look at that, that's amazing. And that's gonna complement the brown of the salmon and the curry. So, so very, very nice. So we're just gonna get this cow in the middle of the, in the, middle of the plate here, like this. Okay, whoop, out of the pot, blimey that's hot. Actually I might push it up to the back of the plate a little bit. And then we can kind of lay the, Salmon across it. Whoop. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay, so let's keep it nice in there. Nice and tight there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our salmon. Here we go. There it is. Now which way are we gonna lay it? Okay. Now I like to lay it at kind of an angle across the um, across the kelp because uh, it just looks a bit fancy. So nice and careful. I'm just going to slip over the top of the kelp like that. There we go. Get our other bit. Slip over the top. Bosh. Look at that. We're already looking amazing. Get some of that liquor going on. Okay, put a bit on top of the salmon there, get some of those shallots over the top, okay, two nuts, up to you, okay, and get some of this stuff, oh, this, stuff. this is where all your flavours are going to come from, so, I'm just going to get it, let's get a bit of Master Chef. Just kind of drip it around like this, yeah? All the way with a shot. Okay, get it over here. All around the sides here. Bosh, look at that. Oh, wow. There we go. There you have it, guys. Sorry. Okay, it's too good. Can't talk to you all quite well, either. <laughs> so there we have it. There we go. There's your salmon on kale with a nice sauce, nice curry sauce. And just before I forget, let's, uh, let's throw over some of the nuts. Just a few, just to kind of, just to kind of give it that texture and that extra little bit of bite. Bit of a, oh man. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't really get better than that. Mm. So, things to remember in this one. Mm. Go careful with nuts. These are full of carbs. So things we need here, um, get yourself a skillet uh, if you're having troubles with um, making your steak look nice and stuff like that, grab a skillet. I've got mine from Ikea, they're not that expensive. You don't have to go and buy a Jamie Oliver for one. TK Maxx, you get some good stuff in there. Uh, so you're definitely going to need that. Get yourself a steamer. Um, really, if I was you, I would be cooking all of my vegetables in steamers. We, we cook it all in steamers, we don't cook any vegetables. Um, in in water anymore, other than potatoes, obviously, but we don't really eat potatoes any longer, so too good, Harvey. Um, and that's it, really. And a little um, pestle and mortar, if you can, um, these are great, especially if you're going to start doing your own things like making your own curry powder and stuff like that. 
So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'll definitely let you know what I think. I've got to wait for the wife. She's uh, she'll be in in a minute, and then we're going to crack on in and uh, and have a go and see what it's like. Um, cool. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, hit subscribe, notify, and uh, keep up to date on uh, on 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 what I'm up to. So great. Thanks very much for your time, guys. It's, it's been great. Cheers.